First off, I'm going to start off by saying, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh Shad, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh Shad, Call Hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad. That's all praises to the world called God, whose true name is Yahweh Bashim, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shad, being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and peace and mercy to the whole flag. Preaching's word and truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazaba and a Great Millstone, Arizona Camp. Lord, well, with another video to edify. It says YouTube, YouTube bans all content. Containing anti uh, anti jump shot, um, containing uh, jump shot, right? Shooting a J misinformation. So as you, YouTube has banned all videos uh, containing misinformation about the jump shot uh, uh, that are currently administered and have been approved by local health authorities or the World Health Organization. Right. You even had that. Um, I think that New York politician that sat there and said, God answered our prayers and gave us the jump shot. Right. This is this is this. This is bullshit. Right. The, the, these devils are pushing. They're trying to quiet the prophets up. They're trying to quiet the opposition up because like the scriptures say, hey, let me grab this, man. Job 20 and 22, it says in the fullness of his efficiency, right? And let's go to that word sufficiency, right? Efficiency, hand clapping, mocking, mockery, scorn, meaning dubious, right? Stroke sufficiency. So basically when he thinks, you know, when you got a job done, what do you do? You dust your hands off, right? This devil's clapping his hands like that, thinking that these things are going through how he wants it, right? It also even said right there, let me go back to it, it said passion right there. All right, we can go down right here. It says, uh, in difficult clause, because there is a passion, beware, at least it, it incites thee to mockery. All right? It says, uh, redundance, abundance. All right? So in the fullness of him thinking that his plans are going through, right? Because now, here it is, the information come out where... They've uh, snuck in on uh, this bill that contains, uh, you know, some information on the budget spending on page. I believe it was uh, one. Let me see if I can find it. So here it is. So on this new, uh, you know, uh, shoot the J mandates to be enforced by fining companies 70000 to 700000 it says President Joe Biden has announced that the CV uh, 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 jump shot mandate on companies empl employing 100 or more people has plans to enforce it. It says on Saturday, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi House quietly tucked an enforcement mechanism into the 3.5 trillion reconcil reconciliation bill passed by the budget committee and sent to the house floor. It says on page uh, buried on page 168 of uh, the house Democrats, 246, 200, 2,465 page mega bill is a tenfold increase in fines 
for for employers that willfully repeatedly or even seriously violate a section of the labor law that deals with hazards death or serious physical harm to their employees right so they're they're these these devils right now they're they're setting up all the laws all the mandates right let me um get another precept if i can if you allow, allow me Right, Daniel's eight. And twenty-four. It says, um, and to in his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power, right? Because what the Lord said, only he who now let will let until he be taken out the way. So this devil is doing everything he's doing because the Lord is allowing him allowing him to, right? So did 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 the heavenly father Put it on this man to produce these jabs. Yeah. The Heavenly Father put it on, on, on Pharaoh of Egypt too. To harden his heart. Until the Lord saw fit that he was ready to be destroyed. Right? So. No matter what. The Lord's playing both sides man. There's no such thing as a devil advocate. The Lord is the one that wrote the script. So it says in his power shall be mighty. But not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully. And shall prosper. And practice and should destroy the uh the mighty and, and holy people. And this is the devil's plan. This is this Edomite's plan. Right? With all these things coming to pass, remember when you go to the scriptures, this devil in his mind, like when you go back to the uh, book of Genesis, it says, The days of mourning my father at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. This is always being on his mind. The scriptures talk about his anger did tear perpetually, meaning it never stopped. <laughs> Hey, this devil's consistently plotting on how to put Jake into holes. It says verse 25, it says, and through his policy, right? Let's go to that word policy. It says, Shakal, Shakal, Shakal. Uh, it says, uh, prudence, insight, understanding, prudence, good sense, insight, understanding, cunning, craft. So through his cunning craft, which is what his laws, right? There's whole different jargon. This, what, what, what? There's a whole different dictionary for law than there is for regular people, right? It says and through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and shall uh, and shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. And this is his form of peace, bringing this all to pass, trying to take take anything off the airways that go against his plan because these people in the world they're like you know what these people they're spelling spreading misinformation you know this is causing everybody else to be slow in the uptake of taking this devil's juice right you know taking a uh, taking a jump shot in your veins so what is it doing it's causing people to be hesitant so these people are seeing and this devil is, is painting a picture like those that that don't shoot jump shots right and we got to use code words because obviously these devils are on the airwaves trying to shut everything down right niggas is anybody without a jump shot is the is the problem why why people are still getting sick but there's uh the evidence shows man just by normal means just by normal means you understand right with just normal everyday in, into it, intuition, you understand the fact that if the jump shot is supposed to keep people from, you know, uh, you know, getting a, getting their card pulled and, and taken out of the game, you know, and dying, why are the why are the ones getting the jump shot are the ones that are uh, getting penalties called on them and getting thrown up into them beds, into them sick beds, man? Why why is that? Right. Because these devils, that shit is not for your for your benefit. It says, and by peace shall destroy many. And this is destroying a lot of people. Here it is. Winter's coming. Right? You have many doctors come out sitting there saying, and once you get this shit, it reduces your uh, immune system by 35%. And every time you get another one, it reduces it by another 15. Winter's coming where your immune system, those that have it, man, I, I expect these people to start dropping dead, man. Because winter comes with sickness. It says, he also 
he he says he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but shall be broken without hand. And these devils are gonna get just that. We're at the end of the days where he, this this nigga's not gonna be able to do what he wants. So back on this, right? It says um, YouTube has banned all videos containing misinformation about jump shots that are currently administered and approved by the local health authorities or by the 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 owl people right it says this measure is an is an exempt is an expansion of a policy covering uh the the crown royale right uh the crown royale uh jumper it says um the service says that users shouldn't for instance post videos in which they claim that uh jump shots lead to chronic side effects other than rare side uh, side effects that the health authorities have acknowledged so if you're if you're going through something you're completely healthy and out of nowhere the only thing that changed is you get in a jump shot Somehow that's that's not something that 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 should be reported until this devil validates you. It says content that 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 alleges jump shots don't reduce transmission or contract or contraction of the disease or videos that have inaccuracies about jump shot ingredients, which they were coming out in the beginning, sitting there telling you that, yes, that, that you know, you had a uh, Stanley Hawkins. The deposition on him where he was under uh oath telling you that uh, all of them have to have some type of human album or and then, then you had it coming out that they were putting a horseshoe crab blood in, into these uh into these jump shots so is that misinformation right these devils man it says there are, are there are some exceptions youtube will continue to allow content about jump shot policies new new jump shot trials and historical jump shot success or failures users can also share scientific discussions on jump shots and personal testimonies about their experience as long as they do not have a history of promoting jump shot misinformation and their video complies with youtube's with youtube's other rules you see but they're gonna silence that shit too. They'll take they'll take anything off the airwaves because it's hurting this devil's plan. Hey, the scriptures tell you that none is gonna look for this devil's good. Nobody's gonna look out for what this devil has to offer, man. But all this ties into what Amos eight. And eleven, it says, um, Behold the days come, said Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of wa for water, but of hearing the word, words of Yahweh. You see, this is all pointing towards them just taking the prophets off the highways. <clears throat> you know, because you know the wicked of our people. It's nothing but another extension of this damn devil. Like our people used to sit here and say in the scriptures, as I said, uh, uh, take him away from being a prophet before us, right? This devil wants us to do the same thing. He wants us gone. And it's all to what? Fuel that famine of the word. Because once the word's gone out. Right? Let me get this real quick. This is, uh, uh, Matthew 24 and 14. It says in this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. And this word has been preached, right? The Lord isn't going to keep repeating himself, repeating himself, right? Through, through the men of the Lord, to the ones, uh, preaching and speaking his word he's not going to keep repeating himself 
you know, all the way till he's placing, placing crowns on Alex's head. At some point, you know, the warning's going to stop. And that's when all hell's going to break loose. It says, uh, behold, the days come, say, how that I will send a famine in the land, not, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Most High. Yahweh, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to the east. Right, because right now you can you you people know where we're at, right? If something popped off today and these people wanted a real answer, they would end up right where brothers preach on the street, thinking that they're gonna find us. And that's what that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. As soon as it as soon as shit starts hitting the fan heavy and the things that brothers have been saying, you know, the heavy, heavy things. The extremely harsh reality of things start happening when when cops no longer come out to help people. You know, when 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 you see chariots of the Lord coming out, apparitions, right? Popping up as the scriptures talk about. People at each other's throats. When you hear and see all the things that we started that we've been preaching about through the Spirit of the Lord, people are gonna end up right in those same spots that we were teaching and looking for us. Hoping to find us, it says, and it says, they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and they shall not find it. Right? You're going you're gonna to go looking for the prophets. You're going to go looking for the men of the Lord, hoping to find some comfort. Right? Let me get this. I'm not going to make this too long. This is a topic we've hit on a bunch of times. This is, um... This is uh, 2nd Ezra 5 and 8. It says, there should be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off, oft sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and ministers and women shall bring forth monsters, and salt water shall be found in sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another, right? So all hell is breaking loose. Remember, imagine this. Imagine buildings and places being set on fire. Imagine riots, right? This is the scene that is saying salt waters be found in sweet, right? If the salt, if salt water is found in sweet, what is it? It's water you can't drink. So there's going to be, you know, a dearth. And all friends shall destroy one another, right? People going at each other's next next door neighbors going into the other neighbor's house, just trying to run through them. Right. Then shall wit hide itself in understanding, withdraw itself into a secret chamber. And what is the understanding? The understanding is of the word. Wisdom is the principal thing, but with all that getting, get understanding of what? The words of the Heavenly Father prophecies. And that secret chamber is it that like the scriptures say, come ye. And uh, uh, hide thyself, close thyself in thy doors until the indignation be passed. Roughly paraphrasing, as going into being in the in the shadow of the Almighty. It says, and shall be sought of many. You see, wit, understanding is going to be sought of many, and yet shall not be found. Then shall all unrighteousness and incontinency be multiplied upon earth, because when they see that there's no hope to get the right to get the right spirit these people are just going to fully delve into their wickedness it says one land shall also ask another and say it's righteousness that maketh a man righteous going through thee and it shall say no at that time shall men hope but nothing obtain and what what are they going to hope because they're going to start picking up the scriptures themselves thinking that they can get it but the scriptures tell you already how shall a man uh uh, uh, the first principles of everything is what? That you must be taught again. Says your eyes are going to see your teachers. The scriptures tell you that, that the Lord has to draw you. And if you haven't been drawn, if you haven't been called by the Heavenly Father, you're not going to get it. It says at that time shall men hope, but nothing obtain. They shall labor, but their way shall not prosper. And that's exactly what's going to happen in these last times. Right, and that's what we're seeing getting cooked up. The work, the work is almost done, man. The work is almost done. Just keep grinding it and, and doing everything you can. That being said, Lord willing, that was edifying. I'm gonna say, call halal, call halal. Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rakhakadash.
Shalom.